Hey there, welcome back to True North Reviews. My name is Ryan, and today we're doing an episode of Hot and Cold. This is a video series I like to do where I talk about the best and worst music I heard over the past week, the best being the hot, the worst being the cold, and some middle-of-the-road tracks too. For this episode, we'll be talking about any songs released between May 16th and 22nd, 2019. As per usual, the songs will be linked in the description if you want to check any of them out. Also, while you're down there, leave a comment, let me know what you think of these songs, but without further ado, let's jump into the hot tracks. First up I want to talk about this week is the new Spoon single, No Bullets Spent. Uh, this is a very underrated rock band in the 21st century. I would definitely recommend them if you're into bands like Cage the Elephant, Arcade Fire, Beck, or Vampire Weekend. This new single though in particular has a very compelling guitar riff. I'm really enjoying it. Sounds like an interpolation of a previous track that they put out uh, a couple years ago called Shotgun. It shouldn't be missed. It's a great track and it sounds like Spoon. They are transitioning away from their psychedelic influences and are just going for more of a straightforward rock song. Next up I want to give a shout out to the artist Kuko. He came out with a new track. It's called Feelings. This one has a luxurious sound to it. It's very slow and brooding. Uh, it's like this dream pop track and there's a lot of washed out analog sounds. The vocals and lyrics will hit you in the feels. And now just because of this single I am intrigued by this artist and what he has to offer so I'm going to keep my eye out for any new material he'll be putting out in the future. Moving on from there, Sum 41 have really released another single for their new album that's coming out in July. This new one is entitled Never There. This one is a ballad like none other by Sum 41. It doesn't sound like any other song that they've put out in the past. It's very sentimental. Not that they haven't uh, done sentimental kind of songs in the past. It's almost like on the same level as So Long Goodbye. Uh, but it's different. It just feels like a, a mature piece of songwriting, and I can really appreciate that. Now wrapping up the hot tracks this week, I want to highlight a couple of tracks from the new Prince demo compilation project. These are some of the original songs that Prince has written, but went on to be famous for other artists. The two tracks I want to highlight in particular, one is called Manic Monday, which went on to be famous by the Bangles, and the other is Nothing Compares to You, which was made famous by Sinead O'Connor. I will say that these two songs, yes, they are demo quality. It does detract from the listening experience a little bit, but it's, it's still a, a great thing to be able to hear the originals from Prince as what he originally intended for these songs to sound like and just to have that comparison to see what the the songs that were made famous afterwards to see how much they played with it and really I don't see much of a difference with Manic Monday. Haven't been the biggest Sinead O'Connor fan but uh, I realized that this song has been made famous by him so I would have to compare that still to this original by Prince for Nothing Compares to You. But I'm enjoying these two tracks and I will listen to the rest of this Prince compilation so I'm enjoying it. Moving on to the middle of the road tracks of this past week. These are songs that I thought were okay, not the best, not the worst, just something to keep on your mind. First up we have a new single from City in Color. This one is entitled Strangers. This one has a, a very catchy and haunting chorus, both melodically and lyrically. One of the poppier songs from Dallas Green. I will say that this song is held back from being a hot track this week just because of the underwhelming first verse. I feel like it takes a while for this song to get the ball rolling. But once that chorus hits and then we get that fuzzy bass line come in in the interlude after that first chorus I am one over and I think it sticks the landing the song is decent Lil Nas X has released a new EP I already did a full-length review of that plus the song I'm going to mention here Panini I think it's a middle-of-the-road track I think it's okay it should spark a lot of discussion around Lil Nas X, like he has already gotten a lot of discussion this year. I'm okay with this song Panini from like this formulaic standpoint. I think it is definitely building upon what made Old Town Road famous and what made it so popular. I really can't blame Lil Nas X with this song. I think it's okay. Moving on from there, Rick Ross has a new track out this week. It's called Act a Fool. Rick Ross, he sounds energized. He sounds lively on this track, unlike his feature on the Drake song the previous week, but I, I feel like Rick Rossi kind of puts his foot in his mouth with this repetitive and painful hook, so that's why it's kind of placed on this middle of the road 
list. And lastly, I want to mention the new Ingrid Michaelson uh, track here. It's called Pretty. This one is just inoffensive pop. It's pretty run of the mill. I could hear it being played on a light favorites kind of radio station. It just doesn't really pull me much in one direction or the other as being good or bad, really. And now moving on to the cold tracks of this past week. These are the songs I thought were <laughs> The worst, of course. First up, we have a single from Marshmallow, the EDM producer, and Kane Brown, the country artist. This new one is entitled One Thing Right, and I feel like this is a song that will just go in one ear and out the other. Uh, pretty bland, uh, pretty bland vocal performance from Kane. Uh, he sounds like he is definitely phoning it in. It sounds very contrived. The country elements to this track also feel very forced, and it's a weird crossover for the, the pop side of things. I feel like Marshmallow's beat drop isn't anything to brag about, and it's just almost non-existent. Also, I don't get why Kane Brown's vocals are mixed really loudly. That's just, it's really bothering me. Moving on from that, though, this next song I'm going to mention here is a big letdown for me because I am a big fan of Foster the People. They have a new track out. It's called Imagination. This one's slow. It's hypnotic. This is honestly just sounding like what Foster the People think a Tame Impala song sounds like. However, it just doesn't suit them. The the funky bass line, the brooding atmosphere, I'm... Ugh. I am happy that Foster the People are trying something different, slowing things down, but compared to their most recent output with Worst Nights, and style, those two tracks, I enjoy a lot more than what is here. I think Imagination is just plain boring and uninteresting. Arizona have a new track out. This one sounds like a Troy Sivan Japanese house kind of song. It's called Nostalgic. However, it is very overproduced from like the synthesized drum and guitar perspective. It really is just devoid of this human emotion, which is the point for singing about being nostalgic, isn't it? Now quickly moving on from that track, I want to mention that these last few songs here that I'm going to bring up are really bad. Like they are outright horrendous and I don't know what it was with last week but we just got a lot of bad music and it was just hard to sit through some of these songs here and I couldn't really put some of them on for a second go round. The first track I want to emphasize as being outright horrendous is called Megatron by Nicki Minaj. This one is annoying for its instrumental, it's annoying for its vocal performance, it's annoying for its lyrics, everything is just annoying. Major Lazer and Anita, they came out with a new track, this one is god awful. Uh, it's just so generic, the tropical house beat is like the most irritating thing I've heard since Talkie Talkie from last year. Chris Brown doesn't make anything better here. He has a new track out. It's called Heat. This one has awful vocals, obnoxious lyrics that are so misogynistic and demeaning. Green Light by Jonas Brothers. Sure, they don't actually like demean women on this track at least, but this new song from them, Green Light, is in support of this new NBC songwriting talent show called Songland. It's being produced by One Republic's Ryan Tedder. This new Jonas Brothers single, though, it's it's terrible. The falsettos are worse than anything that was put on their new album. I'm glad this one didn't make the cut for it. Frankly, I'm just glad that it, it really uh, is just a one-off thing for them. Maybe it will help me cleanse my brain and, and forget this as soon as possible. Moving on from there, Senorita by Shawn Mendes and Camila Cabello. Camila sounds terrible on here. Sean sounds very out of place. Of course, we have another couple artists trying out this Spanish song. It just fails across the board. Everything sounds so fake. It's just a disingenuous song. It really just makes no sense being in either one of these artist's discography. And wrapping up this week, we have probably my running favorite for worst song of the year. This one is called Shopping Spree by Murda Beats featuring Sheck Wes and Lil Pump. I could barely make it through the one time I listened to this. The hook on here is unbearably listenable. I think Lil Pump is horrendous. Sheck Wes is easily the better feature here, but he's still lacking any talent to keep him known past Mo Bamba, he's simply just doing this Migos ad -lib vocal style, and I'm sick of this type of song at this point. It's dumb from a lyrical standpoint, it's dumb from a production standpoint, because it just sounds horrible, and this song is just trash. Forgive me for really getting into it at the end there, but that's Hot and Cold for this week. Sound off down below in the comments, let me know what you think of these songs. Leave a like, subscribe if you're new in town, I'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching, and as always, have a rockin' day.